Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Few technical problems, but nothing that we can't overcome. Let me just sort this lighting out because I'm doing my life slightly different than I planned. All best ideas. Right, we're here. Ta -da! So, welcome. This is my masterclass about something that we're probably all talking about or thinking about maybe even worrying about uh, right now, which is about how to use Facebook effectively in 2018 after Facebook's announcement last week. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We've got Kelly here. Welcome, Kelly. Lovely to see you here. Um, so as you come on, come say hi. Anybody who's watching the recording back, come and let us know your thoughts and um, ideas that you've had about Facebook as well. So, unless Unless you don't use Facebook for your business and then if you weren't, what would you be doing here anyhow? So I think everybody heard that news, didn't they? You know, it was like headline news um, last week where Facebook announced that they were going back to their key values and that they were moving away from business and looking to promote people's um, like news to their friends and families. And uh, personally, I was horrified. I, thought, I was like, I want to see the, I want to see the business stuff. I'm not, you know, obviously I want to see the friends and family stuff, but I like the mixture that they've got now. And if you're feeling the same way, or if you start to panic a little bit about how you can use Facebook effectively, um, you know, perhaps you're thinking that this is the end, that Facebook is not going to be your friend anymore. Um, I just wanted to run a masterclass this week, um, get me back in to do my weekly masterclasses and for us to open up the uh, conversations about actually how you can use Facebook still in your business. Um, these changes haven't been rolled out so, you know, I make uh, hay whilst the sun still shines, so, you know, let's be using it before the changes do come on board. But even when the changes do come, um, we can still use it to um, promote our businesses. And I know that there's often, there hasn't been this time, I don't think, but certainly not in my world, but I think sometimes there can be a mass outcry, like how dare they change the algorithms of the way that they're doing it. Um, and I haven't, I haven't really seen that this time. And I think that this particular change is actually really good for us as business owners. So if you agree with this or if you've got some other views about it, please come and share those. Because if you're here on Facebook, it, there's a high chance that you use Facebook for your business. So if you agree with me that it's a really good thing, please come and share that with me. Yeah, Victoria, she uses social media all the time, so she agrees with me. If actually you're a little bit fearful um, or wondering what on earth you can do, um, let us let me know as well. So, you know, everybody's opinion uh, on this is welcome. So, I'm all, so, we're going to talk about this and we're going to talk about how you can use this decision um, really beneficially in your business. And then I'm going to share with you what happened when I used the strategy that I'm going to disclose with you in my business and how that rapidly increased my results because that's really interesting isn't it so it's all very good talk about these things but we actually want to know the results don't we so why I think Facebook um, changes are a good thing is that it's going to make us really think about the content that we're putting out there if we've got a little bit Oh, should we say um, relaxed, lazy, um, kind of uncreative? Is uncreative even a word? I don't know. But if we're not being very creative in our content and we're just putting something out there, especially on your page, just for the sake of putting something out there, this change actually challenges us to use Facebook properly in a really engaged way. And why that is important is that gone are the days, if they ever really existed, where you could put a Facebook post up and sell something from it. You know, people are over that. They want to know who you are before they actually come and buy from you. So actually by 
going back to the roots and saying that Facebook is all about community, it gives us an opportunity as business owners to really think about our content and to really consider how we are growing our community and how we are communicating with our community as well. So what does the new Facebook um, changes mean to us? It means that we are now going to be challenged to always be creating content that's engaging with our audience, that's meaningful. So, you know, we can't just put out any old tripe, which I'm sure none of us were. This is about us putting out meaningfully, but engaged content as well. Yes, so Lindsay was saying, she was just explaining this to her that half this morning is very anti-Facebook. Lots of people are, and that's okay, isn't it? But if your soulmate clients hang out on Facebook, um, and you ch have chosen to use Facebook, um, this is really key for us. So if you've had um, what the marketers like to say, a bit of a spray and pray approach to, mar to marketing, promoting on Facebook, this is about saying, come on, be very intentional about how you are spending your time on Facebook. So how are you going to spend time on Facebook? So if you've already started to think about this, for yourself in your business, I would love to hear from you as well. So my, one of my key words for this year as well is intentional and I think this is really brilliant because it means that instead of just like picking something up and sharing it, maybe sharing somebody else, else's article, you actually have to sit there and think about how you're going to engage with your community and your soulmate clients through Facebook, how you can it get proper engagement and this is amazing because once you've built proper engagement you are building a relationship with those individuals and once relationships are built that's when the magic happens that's when people want to come and work with you that's when people see you as an expert that's when people want to come and collaborate with you so th th these are the reasons why I think these changes to Facebook are a really good thing so Kelly's saying that she thinks men are anti, yeah, well, yeah, I, I'd say that it is, um, you know, Facebook is about communities isn't it? and I think women are naturally, not everybody, but, you know, naturally more adverse to community than, you know, some, some men. So the question that I've got for you, and I'm a coach, so I'm going to ask you questions, aren't you, aren't I, is to think about how you can create content that engages with your audience. So I just want you to just take this opportunity whilst you're here with me today to think about how you can engage with your audience and I'm going to share with you what I did in 2017 and how that massively impacted in a really brilliant way um, with my audience as well. And um, if you've got any similar stories, come and share those as well this afternoon. So one of the ways that people um, get engagement is whilst they're doing a live they ask questions and they encourage feedback and they encourage comments and they encourage you to like do little thumbs up and little hearts and from that especially I've done this on purpose so especially 10 minutes into a Facebook live thank you Victoria let's have a few more like little um thumbs up and hearts so kind of 10 minutes into running a live stream if you've got people engaging with you through the questions through putting your thumbs up and those sorts of things um the algorithm goes oh look people are interested in this i'm going to let more people see that rachel or victoria or lindsay or kelly or whoever it is is actually online so one of the key things that i have applied into my um, lives is to really kind of hold back a little bit from the juice until kind of 10 minutes in and then from there you've, you've, you're likely to have hooked your audience, you've got them communicating with you, you've got them engaged, the algorithms are working positively and the, those people that you've captured from th that kind of it, you know 10 minutes in are likely to see you through to the duration. So let me know if that is news to you and if that's something that you can use as well. And um, with any post, you can make it engaged quite easily. And that is by putting in some questions. So um, 
my one of my the things that I do is that I use I do a 60 second video every single day and very often I know it's only 60 seconds but very often I'll be sharing like a, like a top tip um, but within that I'll be asking people to um, share their own comments yeah so Victoria says that, that like the 10 minute algorithm thing is like proven works if you're not currently using it in your business it's definitely something you do but um, within my um, 60 second video that I do every single day um, I ask questions and people watch that video and they comment so this is one of the things that you can create into any type of Facebook post that you've got whether that's a written post whether it's an ad whether it's a video recorded or live it's about putting in those questions that allows your audience to connect with you yeah definitely so victoria does the same on instagram well my my 60 second um video is my instagram video which i then share organically over here as well so people do respond to questions you know we, we it's a community people want to be seen and heard so allow your audience to be seen and heard there's also something else that i've heard is that um facebook in the future will be looking for you to be consistent across all the ways that you're using um, Facebook so if you've got a page and a group and your own personal profile one of the things that they'll be looking for is for you to be um, consistently sharing like engaged content so I think with your friends and your family you're probably going to only ever put the up get engaged stuff on your personal page so that's probably covered so it's just thinking about you know if, if you're running a group or groups or and you've also got your page you know don't forget about your page think about how you can use it um, to increase your visibility and I'll be sharing how that happened what, what worked for me as well on that um, Anna you have been very brave I have seen you do your lives today did you make it engaged that's what I'd like to know and I know when you're first starting out or you're getting back into doing lives to actually think about making it engaged it feels quite terrifying because then you're managing not just your delivery but you, you're managing that interaction and um, it comes with practice, doesn't it? Definitely. And some people, I'm I'm pretty good at breaking into the con breaking out of the conversation, dealing with people's questions, and coming back. And other people get distracted and get out of their conversational flow. If that's you, just you do the questions at the end. That's all right, isn't it? So here is kind of my kind of top tips for creating brilliant content that Facebook loves and allows your audience to see. So um, ask questions, ask for comments, ask for people to tell you that their co your content is resonating with them. You can ask them to say, like, if this is happening to you, just put a yes or a no, uh, you know, a Y or an N or a yes or a no to indicate where you are with this. Um, so you know there that works really well remember about the 10 minute rule if you're planning to do a live that's longer than 10 minutes where you you know you you live and you're active and you're engaging and you're getting people to respond to you but you're kind of holding back on the juice until the kind of 10 minutes has elapsed so if you you can go back and watch any of my videos over the last six months and you'll see that i've done that intentionally um and respond back as well. This is something that's really interesting, is that I have become a little obsessive. When I've created either a pre-recorded video or a live, I look at the information, the stats that you can get. And it's really, really beneficial if when you have created a live and you go back and you respond to people's um, comments so you can either like tick a like or a heart or like a ha 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 if you wanted to um, but equally respond back to them as well so I get lots of people on my 60 second video kind of going hi thanks that was great and you know it'd be really easy just to ignore them but I always go back when I can so on the whole I go back and go thanks I'm glad you liked it or something like that and again it bumps your visibility up a little bit more so I hope these are all tips that you can use and I'm giving you some confidence that Facebook are doing us a favour by getting us to really think about engaging with our audience. Now, um, 
one of the other things is about consistency, isn't it? Your audience wants to know that you're going to rock up consistently and create content. Otherwise, again, it becomes a little like your visibility becomes a little bit like spray and pray, doesn't it? It becomes a little bit like, well, um, you know, you could see me one day, but you might not hear from me for another two weeks. And what happens at the beginning, you know, if we're starting with lives or if we're getting back into lives, is that maybe for the first two or three weeks it might feel as if we're just talking to ourselves and it can be really disheartening but before long you will have um, created a gathering a following of people so be really really consistent and remember that anything you can you create on a live you can repurpose you could repurpose it in your group or on your page depending on where you broadcasted from you can use your content as a YouTube um, video you can use it as your like your blog, you can get it transcribed. There's loads of things that you can actually do with any content, but in, in particular lives as well. And if you absolutely hate your live, um, you can delete it. I wouldn't, but sometimes we have like brain fog moments, don't we? <laughs> and things don't work out quite well. Um, but uh, I, these are the things that I do. Oh, lovely to see so many people here live. You know, I think the changes that Facebook, they like to keep us on our toes. So I think these changes are at the forefront of people's minds. So I did say that I would actually share what I did when I decided to become a lot more intentional with my um, Facebook page in 2017. So in 2017, I was very much focused on um, serving my free group. And um, and it was working, and it works really amazingly over there. So I've got my free group, uh, Live Your Abundant Life. It's full of uh, amazing women in there. I was doing really regular lives, master classes, um, and I'd become very intimate with the audience, and they'd become very intimate with me. So it's really powerful. Got to really know a lot of these women, uh, to understand the businesses, to understand the challenges, which is always great for um, marketing, creating, and all of those things. Um, but it didn't leave me any capacity energetically to actually then go and create something else for my Facebook page. And I knew that I was neglecting my page and I knew that whenever I put something out there that the reach wasn't really brilliant. So I decided in 2017 that I would actually change this up and this is what exactly what I did. So I started by creating my um, 60 seconds mini top tip daily video. I often do this when I'm out on the dog walk. I often do this when I'm coming back from um, the school run. So it's like, it's just one tip, 60 seconds, put some engagement in there and I share that on my Instagram and I share it over on my page. So I started doing that every single working day, Monday to Friday. Um, and slowly over time that started to receive more hits and it's just like anything you start to expect to see it don't you, you start to expect to see that that video is going to roll around between 9 and, and 10 a.m. it's going to have something in there and you know because I was consistent with it, it it does work really beautifully and I can let you I can really happily share with you that those 60 second videos can, depending on who's seen it, what I'm talking about, what the engagement's been like, it can be seen by over 500 people. So that's not bad, is it? That's just on like one 60 second video. So I went through the stats just before I came on live. Yeah, that, yeah Shelley, it's a brilliant way to get started. And if you are just getting started with lives and videos and all this, I actually do a pre-recorded. 60 second video you get used to talking to your camera feeling a bit like a wally and um putting it on and then this naturally leads to you becoming happier with creating um live streams as well so no it's a really great idea and do it consistently um have some fun with it you know don't just be you know kind of like doing it from the same place i like to mix mine up i need to get a tripod for my um phone so I can do some lives in other parts of the house because I do my lives um, from my desktop so it's quite nice to mix it up 
So 60 seconds, we can all do that. So we, are you all committing to doing a 60 second daily video? Is that what you're committing to doing? Give me some thumbs up, give me some hearts, and let me know that that's what you're committing to do. And start to practice bringing some engagement into that as well. So, um, yeah, we all need tripods, but don't let that put you off. So that was my 60 second videos. Now, the other thing is, is that um, I decided that I was going to, um, I was going to run a weekly masterclass on my page. So I took the decision to um, remove the masterclass from my uh, free group and to actually put it, it onto my page. Now this was, even though I'm confident on the video, it still felt like a big step because we'd become very intimate in the group. And then I was going to move it over to my page. And you know, to be honest, anybody could see it on my page. Um, but it works really beautifully. So the back end of 2017, I started to create weekly masterclasses just like this that last for 30 minutes. So, you know, this is great for visibility. It's great for being top of mind. It's great for me because it gets me creating content. I repurpose this content in my newsletters. I put it in my group, put it onto YouTube. So this one 30 minute um, masterclass goes to many different places. But what happened on my page was pretty awesome. So this was a fairly dormant page. So for, by doing, you know, you can soon rack up um, a weekly masterclass. You can soon rack up a few weeks. So I was doing that at the back end of 2017. And let me have a look. The yeah, so the looking at the statistics is that with the masterclasses, um, they were they've been seen by over five hundred people, and they've been viewed by you know well over the two three hundred people. So that's pretty awesome, isn't it? From so from a dormant page where I just committed to creating a 30-minute masterclass every single week and doing it. I don't do it at the same time because my diary um, changes. Generally do it on a Wednesday. I like to do it once the cleaner comes, otherwise she'll bring me a cup of tea in the middle of it, which is always nice, isn't it? Uh, I am grateful for that. Um, but all of a sudden, over 500 people started to see me sharing business content, you know, stepping into my power, sharing, um, my expertise. So that was lives. And then it meant that anything that I created as a written post or maybe, you know, like a blog post or a mini blog post, they, they are seen around 200 people. So that's pretty good because Facebook loves video, but my, um, my mini videos and my um, kind of written posts still get a high percentage of people seeing it. So uh, I'm not talking about thousands and let's just put it into context and say that my page has just over a thousand followers on it right now. So that puts it into context. So I haven't got like 20,000 people on my Facebook page yet. I haven't got any, you know, 6,000 or anything like that, just over a thousand. But, you know, starting to be seen and heard by lots of people. And the third thing that I did was my um, interview series. So I decided that I, I'm really interested in other, people on, other people's entrepreneurial journeys. And I'm fortunate to be connected with the most amazing entrepreneurs. And I thought I really wanted to bring them into my world. And equally, I knew that was a win-win solution by working collaboratively together, because if I'm interviewing them on my page, they will promote me to their crowd as well. So working collaboratively, collaboratively with um, other entrepreneurs really has boosted my page. And it's a really brilliant thing that I do. You know, these are 30 minute interviews that I was doing on a weekly basis that the interviews will be back in February. I haven't done any this um, this month because it's been really crazy. Um, yeah, definitely. So, so working collaboratively works. I mean, it works beautifully anyhow. Um, but it really does it does help on your page as well because it's not just you that's in there talking, sharing content. You you kind of like you're chasing it. You you kind of um, stepping it up. 
and you're making it interesting and other people from other places get to hear about you because you've been promoted. And um, the interviews, they get viewed between um, around 250 and uh, 290 people on average see these videos and they get views around the 124 um, point mark. So well worth doing. So who likes those strategies? And um, anybody can use these. So just to recap, especially for anybody who's just come in, is that I do a daily 60 second video of 500 people see those. Um, I do a weekly masterclass just like this and they're seen massively. I do weekly interviews so working collaboratively with other people and then obviously I do anything written as well. So you don't need to be on Facebook all the time. You don't need to be worried about um, dropping off the world because Facebook have changed the rules because all of these things are about engagement and value. If somebody's gonna stay on your, like all of you have been on this live stream for like around 30 minutes. So that's indicating to Facebook that that is something of value. So whilst I have a little sip of my tea, let me know if you've got any questions. Let me know how you are going to use this. Lindsay's just had a total moment. So I'd love for you to do that. I'd love to answer any questions as well. And anybody who's got a real fear of um, going live on the page, and I've, you know, I did put my hand up and said that I definitely did, is that um, start off with one of those strategies. Don't do them all in one go unless you really enjoy throwing yourself off cliffs. Um, but maybe just start with a pre-recorded video and do that consistently and see how you feel about it. Let me just, um, Lindsay asked a question actually, you know, do you record on the phone? So um, in the olden days I used to uh, pre-record on my phone and just upload it but what I do now Lindsay is that I um, record an Instagram video which are just 60 seconds so you get cut off after 60 seconds. So I, um, I run the I do the 60 seconds uh, Instagram thing and then I share it across on Instagram obviously and over here as well. What about a paid for group? Is it simple to set up? So a paid for group is basically a Facebook group that you charge people to be part of. It's really easy to set up. It's, it's setting any group up is really easy. At this moment Facebook are allowing us to run Facebook groups for free. Who knows what will happen in the future? So I just wanted to also mention that um, the doors to the 5K Club are open. I had a soft launch in December and had the pleasure of the founding members coming in and joining us and we've already started doing the work as well. And the 5K Club is for women who want to generate consistent months of 5K in their business and I've created a membership club for women who want to be held in a container. So I would love to say like here's magic wand, here's a solution, go off and make consistent 5Ks in your business. However it doesn't work like that. This is about you going on your journey to generating a consistent flow of money in your business. Um, so what I've done with the 5K club is create a container where women are coming into that container and they're getting really clear about their business, who they're being in the business, who their soulmate clients are, how they want to work with them, what the prices and products are and how all that kind of fits together. And then I, what the members receive is they receive a specifically created training bundle every month. So I'm not giving you any fluff. I'm not going to give you strategies that will send you off down rabbit holes. These are the kind of foundational pieces that you put in place that allow you to grow into the the person who you will become and for you to become the woman who runs a business that generates over 5k. Thank you Kelly, I am so pleased that you love it. And you might be thinking well I'm miles away from having a 5k a month but actually when you get really aligned with your actions and when you nurture the mindset of a, a you know 
of a woman who's already running a 5k business, it can happen really quickly. And it can also happen if you've got an offline business uh, uh, and also it happens if you've got an online business. So I've got clients who have got both types of businesses and they generate 5k months consistently and it's really exciting when that happens because everything changes all of a sudden you take yourself seriously other people take yourself seriously you get seen to be an expert the money's coming in that fees and famine have disappeared and you can start to really relax into that role um welcome emma my sister emma's here Woohoo! um yeah so kelly you've only nine weeks away from zero to nine yeah so kelly did it in nine weeks nine weeks and you could be generating a consistent 5k a month in your business without like without the hustle and without the kind of hardcore selling as well this is about me as a coach holding you in that container nurturing you so that you are you've got the courage you've got the visibility you've got the support to go out there and call in exactly what you want so there are two really exciting ways that you can come and join the 5k club the first one is to pay for six months up front i'm kind of estimating that it will take a com like a committed woman uh, working with me for i mean kelly said it's nine weeks because in the 5k club we're looking at it being sustainable so we want to like we want to do it in nine weeks we want to do it in 18 weeks we want to do it in 36 weeks but it's about saying that you know come and work with me for six months i'm going to hold you in this container it's going to be amazing and be, it, and you basically get a discount because you're paying for um up front for the six months so it's 199 pounds and when you do that you get a personal private strategy session with me where we thrash out your business the second way that you can come and join me is by investing at 47 pounds a month so you've got to think about the return on investment you invest either 199 pounds or 47 pounds a month you can leave at any time if you do the monthly option and basically you generate 5k every month in your business forevermore so it's not a bad return on investment so um i will post the details after this live and let you know where it is but you can see all the information over my website which is www.rachelsmithlifecoach.com and just click on the 5k club um i absolutely love it and the women in there are amazing so has anybody got any questions about the 5k club or any questions about how you can embrace facebook's um changes and grow your business still through facebook in 2018 let me know if you've got any questions and also what i'd love to hear is if you're feeling a little bit more inspired or confident that you can use facebook going forward it is not the end for us using facebook And anybody who's watching the recording back, you know, please still get engaged with this, ask questions, and um, I will make sure that I come back to you. Yeah, oh, Shelley's excited now. She's got some new strategies. So she's going to go off and be a Facebook engaged person. Yeah, brilliant. So Carol is more confident and inspired. Brilliant. Carol's had a double whammy of me today. Lucky you. <laughs> right, ladies, it is just after half past to so any um of questions i will catch up with us after um this is finished thank you so much for joining me this afternoon good luck with um your facebook kind of experience out there and uh, yeah if the 5k club is calling to you go check the details out on my website which is www.rachelsmithlifecoach.com and uh yeah let's grow your awesome business bye for now